Hey guys, it's uh, Jeff here with a little this and that. I'm going to try to fit it in my one video. <clears throat> and uh, I want to say, hey guys, I think the only people that are watching right now are a couple of people from IGN, like fellow bloggers on there. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, today I just want to talk about what what an awesome last week it's been, I guess. I've First of all, on a personal side, I don't have a lot of good luck and it's just... I try to take note when I do, I guess. This week, I got like a $1,000 check from the government as like a tax return, which is funny considering I paid maybe a third of that to the government last year. Way to go. I mean, we might be screwing our future, but cool that I got some money. And, you know, on top of that, my dad is giving me his old HDTV because he's got, he got a new one for free out of like points on his credit card or something right so in one week I'm getting a thousand dollars which I very badly need and an HDTV which that thousand dollars might have went to because I've been you know come on man it's what 2010 I don't have an HDTV yet I'm a gamer it sucks so that's in the last week and then just hey I've talked about this before it's May is the month of games this year. The games I really cared about it. There's a couple more. So like uh, coming out Dead Rising, Legend of Zelda. There's a few others. Halo Reach. I'm excited for. And also in this last week, I've gotten I got three dot game heroes last Tuesday. For the it's a PlayStation Three exclusive, by From Software, the guys that made Demon Souls and another developer. Another Sony developer, I think. Or who knows. <clears throat> just like Zelda, like I said, it would be. And just as hard as the old 8-bit Zeldas. Uh, I don't know if you remember, like in the old, the original Legend of Zelda. What made it hard is you had to go through this whole dungeon. With, with these hard encounters with enemies in each room kind of pattern based and stuff where you could get killed in any room or you could survive problem is you had to survive through the whole dungeon so you die you make it through the first five rooms one time next time you get killed in the first room next time you get killed in the third room sometimes you'll get hurt in the first room and you're like ah fuck it I've already lost half of my heart so I might as well just kill myself and it's like that it's the same way it's just as hard as the, the original Zelda maybe a little bit harder it's as obscure as the 8-bit games. It's, you know, probably because of that, it, a lot of people that are, have grown up on, like, since Ocarina of Time and on won't like it, but people like me that remember the original Zelda and that, you know, my favorite game of all time is Link to the Past. People like that are going to love 3 d game Heroes. If you have a PlayStation 3, pick it up. It's only forty dollars. There aren't a lot of copies around. You're gonna be looking. This is gonna be like a collector's item in months. So, not much to say about that. I'm probably. I think I have two dungeons left. But the, after the third dungeon, even even the third dungeon. Was hard. I think the fourth dungeon was the Aqua Temple. The water temples are always hard in Zelda. <laughs> no different here. It was a pain in the ass. Uh, so like I'm almost done, but I could see the second half of the game taking a little bit longer than the first because it's just harder. It's a hard game, in a in a good old school way, not in a bad way. It's not like, not to say Demon Souls is bad, but it's not hard like Demon Souls. It's hard like Zelda, like the original Legend of Zelda is. Definitely check it out if you like the original Legend of Zelda or Link to the Past, or just. If you're a fan of that era, get it. Definitely get it. I'll save Red Dead for last because maybe I'll have the most to say about it. Who knows? I just I'm just going over random crap here, guys. Also, right now on Netflix, I already reviewed Bad Lieutenant, but I'm watching. I got in the mail from them Never Sleep Again, which is a documentary celebrating. The Nightmare on Elm Street series. It's for fans. It's like a straight-to-video fan-made thing. Fan-made documentary. 
I don't know, like maybe you have uh, Halloween, tw- uh, 25 Years of Terror, or his name is Jason, if you're fans of these movies, you know, if you grew up in the same age as I did. It's just like those, it's just better. It's really well done. You're talking four hours of a main feature that covers every every movie in the series, and they give a lot of time to every movie, and they go into t- t- detail on every movie. You learn lots of interesting tidbits. Um, Rambo Braff recently went through like all all three of these like slasher movie documentaries, and he recommended Never Sleep Again over all the others, and I would too. I think anyone would too. Anyone has seen all three of these. Never Sleep Again is a great celebration of the series, and. If you're a fan of Nightmare on Elm Street in any way, very highly recommend it. I think it's, like I said, better done than the other ones too. My big franchise growing up was Halloween Michael Myers. And while I appreciated that documentary, it's on a much more pedestrian level than what you got here. This is just, it's really well done and in depth. And from Netflix, I've only watched the first disc. There's a two disc thing. There's like the main feature, which is four hours going into all the movies, which is what I watched. And then you have the second disc, which I think you you could get from Netflix, and I probably will down the road, or I'll just buy it. Because while I'm not the biggest Nightmare on Elm Street fan, I like all all three of the big three I love. And, you know, it is another series that I did grow up on. I remember them all. It was fun to see them talking about all of them, but... It was interesting how they talked about how or Nightmare on Elm Street 2 is the gay Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, I just never noticed that. I haven't seen it in a long time. But, like, like as they were pointing out, I'm like, oh, my God, dude. There's all sorts of interesting things, stuff about all of them. And watching it again, I'll probably go into the individ- individual Nightmare on Elm Street movies down the road. But just watching that, like, based off that, I always loved 1 and 3 one is probably the best, I think, in a way. Three is the best sequel. But New Nightmare is the best film out of the three. That's a real film with some real intellectual stuff behind it. And like they say in the in the documentary, it was ahead of its time. And that was the one where, you know, it's all the real actors now, ten years after they had made the original... You know, you have Wes Craven, Robert England, Heather Lane Cap playing in themselves. And since they stopped making these movies, Freddy's coming into the actual real world. It's like Freddy's an elemental force that has always existed, and these stories have always existed. It was just, it was a classy, higher grade type of horror that wasn't seen, at least in that franchise before then. So, that's my thoughts on that. And lastly, I have a little bit of time here for Red Dead Redemption. It's kind of what everyone expected. It's GTA in the in the Old West. It has the same weird controls where like weird anal- lack of analog controls where you have to tap the A button to get the person to run. And the same kind of effed up cover system from GTA 4. But I just like it more because it's so far, I like it more. I'm very early in. I only played about three hours. So far, I like it more just because it's a f- it, the setting feels fresh. It hasn't been done well. Like it hasn't done get, been given the GTA treatment before. I really like that. It feels like I went on a train ride last night, like across the whole thing. You know, basically across the whole map, and it felt like I was in Frontierland in Disney World. It was just. I love that about Rockstar, the detail that they put in their games and the environments. It's just, that's what draws me to it. And even though I'm not a huge Western freak, like I, Western movies, I've seen a handful of them. I'm already getting really drawn into this world, having a lot of fun with it. I just, you know, so far I've noticed the the online is broken for, for the time being. So we'll judge that part when we get to it. I'm only about three hours into the single player, but I really love it. it. There's just so many, besides the little touches, the writing. I'm running out of time, but Red Dead Redemption, I, I really, I really like it so far. I think you should check it out.